Greetings uh, and good afternoon. It really is a great honor to be here. Thank you for the invitation and the great warmth of your welcome. I'm from New Zealand, which is uh, about three hours flying time from Australia and uh, not just across the Harbour Bridge as some people think that um, it's actually a long way. Of course, Australia and New Zealand are currently hosting the Cricket World Cup, so I know that you're all taking great interest in that. Uh, New Zealand has a population of about four million people. Uh, and uh, I personally come from Auckland, which is in the uh, north of New Zealand. You can see the area in the circle at the north there. Um, Auckland is home to about 1.4 million people, which is about 40% of the entire population of New Zealand. It's a very diverse city with at least one third of Aucklanders born um, outside of New Zealand. Our population is spread over a large area and several of our libraries are in rural areas. We also have some urban areas of real poverty uh, with very limited access to technology. Auckland Libraries serves the region uh, through 55 libraries and four mobile libraries. We are the largest uh, public library system in Australasia and possibly in the Southern Hemisphere. We're still working that out. Ten years ago, our library service was starting to fail. Use was falling, our buildings were old and tired, and we were poorly funded. We had a choice to carry on as we were or to try and reinvent the service to survive. We decided to build a library service for the 21st century. We had a strong belief in the importance of good library services and the principles that are core, such as equitable access for all. But we knew we had to deliver them differently. It was up to us to make the change. Today I will describe what we did to ensure the library is relevant for today's customers and tomorrow. Firstly, we needed to understand our customers and their needs and expectations. We had to understand how to change to ensure we would still be relevant to our customers. This included thinking about what we would stop doing. We had to learn to deliver what our customers wanted, not just what we thought they ought to have. We learned that our attitudes were the biggest barrier and that we had to shift our focus to the customer. We did market research to understand the wider environment, how it was changing and how we should respond. We had to understand who we were competing with for people's time and interest and find our unique point of difference. We discovered that the unique strengths we could use for competitive advantage included access to skilled and trusted help, in other, in other words, the librarian. Our other strengths included that we are a place for the whole family, that we are neutral spaces where people can just be, that we provide assistance and free connection to the internet. Then we developed a strategic plan. We worked with stakeholders to decide a vision and what our strategic priority should be for the next 10 years. We identified six areas as the most important things to focus on. The digital library, children and young people, changing our spaces, engaging with communities, collections and library staff. And I will now talk a little about each area. The digital library is probably the way that most of our customers will connect with us in the future to access digital resources and content and to get help. Customers expect to be able to access equivalent services in the digital space as they can 
in the physical space. Above all, the digital library is convenient and easy for customers and available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, especially for those with mobile devices. Without the digital library, customers will just go elsewhere. Focusing on children and young people is the top priority for the city of Auckland, so we apply the same approach. We have a unique role to nurture a love of reading throughout life. We start young with early literacy programs for children aged naught to two, then focus, focus on helping a child be ready for school and support their reading over the school holidays. We have also realized that the best way to reach children is through their families. We have built five new libraries since July 2013, and there are another two opening in the next 15 months. We are trying to build flexible spaces which reflect the local community and which the community feel that they own. Our libraries house fewer books than we used to, and even in our older libraries, we are using the spare floor area as spaces for learning, inspiration, creativity, and meeting. Our libraries are always full of people, noisy and vibrant places. A big focus is to connect with our diverse communities in different ways to ensure that everyone is welcomed and celebrated regardless of their background. And these photos here come from a Diwali event that was held. In particular, we try to create a sense of belonging and identity, especially for new migrants. This includes offering learning skill activities and reading activities in different languages and making library spaces available to the community to use as they wish. It includes being places where people can vote and engage with political issues as part of our democratic role. Collections are still the main reason that people use libraries, but the way we manage our collections is changing. For example, we have a really efficient courier service that moves the collection item to the customer <coughs> rather than the customer having to do all the work themselves. We purchase what customers want and we try to display our collections attractively like they do in bookshops. We use social media to promote collection items. Finally, library staff, the most important element of all. And throughout the photographs here, you will have seen library staff working with customers in many different ways. Our research indicates that the quality of library staff is the single most important factor in achieving high customer satisfaction. Library staff are highly skilled professionals that customers trust. We expect our staff to deliver great customer service based on a helpful, can-do attitude. We also expect staff to experiment and try things out and learn from this. We are also developing new sets of skills that a 21st century library needs, such as teaching skills, marketing, youth work, and community development. So what were the results of our decision to reinvent ourselves and focus our effort differently? We have experienced increases in use of all of our services, especially the digital library. We welcome 35,000 visitors to our libraries every day. Uh, which I understand is about the same as the Taj Mahal, except that's one place and our libraries are 55 places. We welcome 19,000 visitors to our website every day. We achieve consistently high customer satisfaction scores of nine, around 92%. And 70% of Auckland residents have used a library in the past 12 months. 95% of residents value library services highly. 
This means we have developed strong citizen and political support and we are well funded. To summarise, we had to show that we can add real value for the wider community, for example, by contributing to developing individual potential, to lifelong learning, to community cohesion and pride, to economic and social well-being, to being a knowledge economy and strengthening democracy. We had to decide which of our efforts were a waste of time and should cease and which would deliver the greatest value. When we do this, we demonstrate that the investment is worthwhile, which in turn gains political and community support. You have a wonderful opportunity to reinvent yourselves, to let go of the past and build the future that you believe in and that you believe your communities need in today's digital world. I wish you well. I look forward to the day we are visiting India to learn from what you ha have done as you transform yourselves. Meanwhile, welcome to come and visit us in New Zealand. Um, my PowerPoint's available with additional notes and I look forward to talking you, to you throughout the conference. Kia ora, thank you very much.